Okay, being the son of a dude who loves fishing, this guy right here, I've heard so many stories about fishing in Mexico and I finally got to do it. It's like seven o'clock, the sun actually rises pretty late here. Uh, but we're about to go fishing, so hopefully we catch some. Sunshine standing on your doorstep, black bow tie, your red dress burning, sweat dripping down my spine. Just scan a bit like the finer things in life. Just so we started out on this beautiful bay in Montanillo, uh, where it was so nice, so calm, beautiful, and as soon as we got out of that, we realized that it was a really rough day. Uh, there was there's some significant swell, the wind was blowing, there were some white caps. It was kind of a rough, crappy day. Uh, so I wasn't sure if we'd actually catch any fish. Good times are here to stay. Everything's going my way. So luckily, even with the conditions, we were on the fish pretty much right away. And I mean, huge credit to these dudes at Sunrise Sports Fishing. Uh, Tacho, the captain, was on point, nailed it, got us on the fish right away. But after we got on to that beautiful fish, that was it. It was super mellow. We just trolled around for, I don't know, six hours. We had already caught this mahi-mahi, so kind of the rest of the day was relaxing. Even though we weren't on fish like you'd want to be, we had already caught the fish we were looking for. I know that I was looking forward to catching my first mahi-mahi, so it didn't really matter if we caught more fish or not but it was a lot of waiting and the seas were pretty rough, but that is the fun of it. Uh, if every day you were just catching a ton of fish out there, uh, it kind of, I don't know, spoil the experience. But on our way in, we did see a ton of birds attacking the water, uh, which means that there's some sort of bait fish right on the surface and underneath those bait fish are predator fish attacking this bait ball. So that was a pretty good sign that we were gonna be onto some fish. But when we did get out there, it turned out to just be skipjack, which is something that uh, was super fun to catch, but we were definitely looking for something closer to like uh, yellowfin tuna, which would act in the same exact way and would be really good eating, something we'd be really excited about taking home. But overall, 
fishing in Mexico did not disappoint. Uh, even though we were only able to catch one good fish, this mahi-mahi is the biggest mahi-mahi I've ever caught. Uh, it's the biggest I've ever seen. So, I mean, who can complain about that? Not only that, but it made an amazing dinner. Mahi-mahi caught and cooked by this man. Uh, which, if you know me, no, I don't cook but I was able to make this delicious plate. So yeah, fishing in Mexico, accomplished. I'll probably go out again. And if you find yourself in Montenegro, Mexico, hit up Tacho at Sunrise Sports Fishing. He's the best. I'll probably be seeing him soon for round two. Thanks guys.